is a Ruger AR-15 chambered in 5.56. A group of gun owners from Columbus and Cincinnati met on campus for an open carry educational walk. Unfortunately, college campuses are a culture where a lot of a lot of assaults, robberies, sexual harassment, things like that take place, and uh, current conduct states that students and faculty are not allowed to carry. Um, if, if that were to change, we might actually see a decrease in those kind of crimes. Criminals do not follow laws, and all you're doing when you add more laws is just hurting law-abiding citizens. Um, when we say guns save lives now, you have numbers all the time. Uh, I know the popular number is you know, guns kill 30,000 people a year. But nobody wants to take into consideration how many times a gun can actually save a life, how many times it can actually deter a threat, deter a crime, and that number can be well over 2 million a year. The walk was specifically organized in response to a letter written by 12 Ohio State professors and published in The Lantern. The letter was written to express outrage at a previous open carry walk. In its closing, the letter blamed the university for not only welcoming a group of white activists with deadly weapons to our campus, but providing them university police security. While elsewhere in the state, people of different races are killed for the possession of weapons in places where such possession is not even banned, as it is on campus. Um, I, I read the letter with the 12 or 13 professors that actually wrote the letter saying, talking about their disapproval for the campus carry, and the last paragraph of it basically said in a nutshell, we don't think that if it was a group of black people, they would be able to get away with this. That is exactly why we're here today to prove that wrong. We're talking about Second Amendment rights for every law-abiding citizen where our race and ethnicity should not actually be a factor at all. We're here to show you if that, that was your concern, what is your excuse now? The activists came armed and ready to voice their opinions on the right to bear arms on a college campus. This is a Glock 23 right here. Uh, it's a 40 caliber uh, pistol. And then this is my uh, AR-15. It's actually a Stag 15. It's the model it is. Um, Semi-automatic rifle. You guys should all have the right to carry a gun because there's it, OSU's campus policy of not having a gun. It's not going to stop someone from shooting up your school. They don't care. Mass shooters don't care about any law, let alone OSU campus policy. Right now, with my ammunition and my rifles, right, I have a 220 round, 221. Sorry, because there's one in the chamber. 221 rounds of rifle ammunition on me. I have 40 rounds of pistol. Uh, ammunition on me. So even if it takes 10 to 15 minutes for the police to respond to a shooting, how much damage could someone that has this stuff uh, inflict on the student population before the police come there to save them? So you should have that right if someone starts shooting up your dorm room or something to protect yourself and not rely on hiding in a corner or being a fish in a barrel or a victim basically with no means to protect yourself. The walk quickly drew a crowd on the oval and many students voiced their own opinions. I guess I would say that I'm pro allowing people to have guns. I wouldn't necessarily, I'm pro open carry. A lot of the logic that the uh, people in favor of the movement have been using, I feel like kind of doesn't really relate. They say that they come from like inner city urban environments where guns are necessary to survive, but being from that environment myself, I feel like that's not necessarily true. And like I grew up in that rough environment too. I've been in situations where I was in a car and my car's been shot at. But, like, I still don't feel that I need that on Ohio State's campus. Maybe in the community, but it's very different than being on a campus where like, the average time for this to show up is less than a minute. Some students came to specifically speak against the open carry activists. A lot of the protesters here that are pro-open carry want there to be more guns so that they can protect themselves, but the likelihood of the guns getting into the wrong hands if there are more guns, I just think that that means that there's going to be inevitably more shootings, and I think that that makes our campus a more unsafe area. The gun debate continues to rage on on campus and across the country. For Lantern TV, this has been Joe Matz.